Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. We're an official DJI dealer in the United States. And it's official, DJI has released their new firmware update 3.8 as well as a vision app update. So we're gonna go ahead and update both of those and we're gonna show you some of the new features. Enjoy. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the wonderful 3.8 update. We're gonna go to Phantom Assistant I'm going to go ahead and turn the Phantom on. Our announcement screen is going to pop up. It's going to tell us all the new things that's happening. And behind that screen, we're going to get the firmware update. So you can see here it says 3.6 by 3.8. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade to 3.8. If you look down on the bottom right, you'll see an upgrade tab. Go ahead and click that. Do we really want to? Yes, we do. Now you're going to see a progress bar load up on the bottom right. And it's going to move over to the right as it's upgrading. Phantom's going to start beeping. That's fine. So upgrade was successful. Now it wants to turn everything off and back on. Gonna reach over, turn the phantom off, holding once, two seconds. Now we'll hold it once, two seconds again. Turn it back on. Now it's gonna do a second part of the upgrade. Go ahead and let that finish. Okay, everything's good. We're gonna go ahead and power cycle the battery again. So we'll push once, hold two seconds, turn everything off. Now we're gonna press once, hold again, two seconds. Okay, now we can see. Everything looks to be updated. Uh, we can go ahead now and we can click on the update the battery firmware. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade there. Now you see the progress bar at the bottom of the screen is upgrading the battery firmware. Might take just a second or two or three or four. Once we get all of our upgrades done, we'll go ahead and update the Vision app as well after we're finished on the Phantom. And this is a Vision Plus, by the way, that we're working on. Taking a little longer to upgrade the battery firmware than the copter itself. We're gonna upgrade from 2.0 to 2.6 for this update. Almost done. And this is gonna enable some of the new telemetry features of the software for our battery. We can detect whether cells are going bad. It's gonna give us a history of our battery use as well. Okay, everything was good. Let's go ahead and turn everything off and back on. Push once and hold two seconds. Now we're gonna push once and hold two seconds again. Turn everything back on. We're gonna to check to see our latest firmware on the copter and if there's any upgrades on the right hand side. Looks like the IMU has a new upgrade. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna to upgrade to 1.6. Go ahead and hit the upgrade tab. It wants you to take your props off. We've already done that. Go ahead and check yes. Now the upgrade is gonna start, as you can see again, by the bottom status bar is moving to the right. A little faster than the battery upgrade on this one. And this is the IMU firmware update. And it looks like this firmware update is gonna support the new remote. which has a nice little lever on the left-hand side, which will let us move the Vision camera up and down, uh, excuse me, the Vision Plus camera up and down. Via the transmitter instead of the software. We've all been waiting for that one to come out. So a very nice upgrade from DJI. Okay, successful. Now we can turn everything off and back on again. Press once, hold two seconds. So now that we have everything back on, we can look in our update menu and we can see that everything is up to date now and we're good to go. So after all of our updates are done, we can go ahead and update the Vision app. We'll do that next. So now we have the iPad and we're gonna go ahead and go into the App Store. We're gonna go into the Updates menu. We already have it loaded up. You can see there, there's a new DJI Vision app. It came out October 28th. So we'll go ahead and get that updated. Now the Vision app is updated, so we can go ahead and open that. Okay, so now we have all our firmware updates done and we've updated our app. So let's get into the new features in the update. Um, first thing that's really exciting that everyone's been wanting for a while, I've got a lot of clients who are, have charter boats and who fly from boats. So this first uh, new feature is really nice. It's a dynamic home point. And the dynamic home point works with GPS. Uh, it has to work with a, a phone or an, uh, such as Android or iPhone that has a GPS uh, locator inside it. You also have to have uh, a cell signal. So you wanna make sure that this is as active uh, on the device you're trying to get dynamic home point in. Um, every two seconds during the flight, it's gonna update the home point to your phone or your GPS device. So this is really nice for guys that are out in boats. Um, they're in charter boats. They're flying out of the back of uh, um, speed boats on lakes. So if you're anchored off somewhere and you're flying and you have a return to home issue happen, it'll fly back to you as well. Um, and that's, that's really nice. So the other nice thing about this update as well is the ability to change the return to home altitude. So you'll be able to change the, the altitude adjustment inside the app. So now you say, where, where do I access the dynamic home point? How do I turn that on? If you go into settings and you go right down to flight controller and gimbal, you'll see this new uh, tab in here called dynamic home point. If you want to activate that, just go ahead and, and click that. So we're hooked up to an iPad, so it says GPS not supported with this device. However, if you have your phone uh, with, a, with a, a GPS in it, you'll be able to use this. So keep in mind, iPad, unless you have a 3G connection, it's not gonna work. Um, so that's how you get to the dynamic home point. You go into settings, go down to flight controller and gimbal, and it's right there. So very nice. Also, the next great feature that they've added is the current re return to home altitude. So we can change this on the fly now. We can go in, we can click on altitude, and we can add a new value here. So if we wanna be at 70 feet, we can do that. We can click the button, check button, and we're good to go. So we changed our return to home altitude. Uh, if there's buildings around, if you're in a really high uh, uh, urban area where you need to fly a little higher, um, and this is, this is a nice feature added. 
The next feature that they've added is the maximum operating area. So if you go into the maps, if you're in your waypoints map, now according to your battery, it's gonna give you a suggested range. Um, so now you're gonna get a suggested range based on how much battery life you have to get back home. So this is a really nice feature as well. Um, it's going to show you that on the maps. If you have your maps loaded, uh, you'll, be, you'll have that ability now, which is really nice. So this only works in the ground station, so make sure that you're, you're using that in trying to find that mode in the ground station. Another great feature I know you guys are really excited about is longitude and latitude. So now we're going to get longitude and latitude displayed inside the radar. Uh, so right and left here, it says NA right now because we're in the studio. But when you're out, it's going to show you the longitude and latitude uh, as your phantom is moving around in space. Now, that's really nice because we've had phantoms lost and we wanted to be able to find them with a GPS uh, uh, locator. And we haven't been able to do that in the past. But now you'll have the option to know exactly where your phantom is longitude and latitude wise. Um, also, another nice feature is that when you're in the ground station, it's going to show you um, the waypoint longitude and latitude as well. Uh, so when you're setting waypoints on the screen, you'll, you'll know the exact longitude and latitude uh, of each waypoint. Very, very nice feature as well. Another great new feature that DJI has added to the app is the pre-flight checklist. Uh, you'll be able to, if you're a new pilot, you'll be able to go into your app and go through the pre-flight checklist. And on the right hand side, we'll click that again up to the top right, right here, you'll see a little stack and a, a sphere. Click on that and it'll give you uh, different uh, tips before you launch. So it's going to give you environmental tips on the weather, people, buildings, magnetic interferences, metal surfaces, etc. Um, uh, inspection on the phantom, the props. So all these different things as well as a calibrate compass. You'll be able to go into settings now as well for the calibration of the compass and do an assisted calibration of your compass from the app. So very nice feature as well. And the next feature that they've added is the battery cell warning. You'll be able to know if there's a bad cell going on in your battery uh, as it happens from the Vision app. So it's going to give you an alert if there's any battery issues, which is really, really nice because before we just get a generic message. So um, you can also browse the, the battery history. If you go to settings and you go down to flight controller and gimbal, Go down to battery history and info. If you click on that, it's going to give you the current status up top as well as your flying battery history down bottom. So very nice. We can go back now and we can look at previous uh, battery history usage as well. And DJI has also added a new auto discharging feature. So if you have a battery that's been sitting around for a while, it's swelled up a little bit and you've, you've had it in storage, um, now you have an auto discharging feature uh, as well for, for a fully charged battery that's, that's had some damage. Um, if you have cell damage in the battery, you're going to know now. Um, so there's going to be a detection feature as well. So you'll know um, from the app. So that's, that's a really nice feature as well. And one of my favorite features that they've added this time is the balancing feature. So now we're able to balance our batteries, make sure that each cell is balanced when we're charging. One of the greatest things about charging LiPos is keeping your cells balanced. It'll add to a longer battery life if you keep all your cells balanced. If one cell gets out of whack, uh, meaning a lower voltage than the one next to it, eventually it can lead to a puff battery uh, and, and it'll, it'll affect the longevity of your, your battery life.
Another great feature that DJI has incorporated into the update is the maximum descent speed. So now as you're descending less than 10 meters, it's going to give you a 0.6 meters per second uh, descent rate. So that means it's going to slow it down for your landing. Uh, it's not going to let you come down quite as fast and bump into the ground. So you get a nice soft landing when you come down uh, for, for a landing. Uh, so. You know, if you're in fail safe mode, once you get to 10 meters, it's going to slow it down for you nice and it's going to bring it down nice and soft. So that's a really nice feature. And last but not least, we have propulsion system performance enhancements. You guys know that there's been a, a few upgrades that came out for uh, the Phantom series copters, the Vision, the Vision Plus, and the Phantom 2. Uh, these propulsion system they'll they'll be enhanced in in the the app and as well as the uh, firmware. So all, those are all compatible with the the new update. Uh, as well as support for our German, French, and Japanese friends. They now have language support on the Vision app, so they can go into the settings and change their language preference to French, German, or Japanese. So one last bonus to this video, we want to show some people how to change their preview rate. Some people have been having like issues with their uh, device lagging mid-flight and they're asking us how we can, can fix that. So this is how you fix that. If you have an older iPhone or Android device, you go into the settings, you go to preview quality, and this will allow you to change the frames per second that are being sent down to your device. So if you're at 30 frames per second and it's lagging on you and you're at 640 by 480, you can bump it down to 15 frames per second. That'll cut the frame rate in half and maybe give you a steadier stream from your copter and you'll see less lag. Uh, if you want to go down past that, even smaller than that, you can break the image size in half. That'll just look a little blockier, uh, but it'll give you a faster frame rate so you'll actually see your video in more real time. It won't be as nice looking, but it'll be in a, in a better real time uh, coming back from your copter to, to your ground station. So um, that's how you change the preview quality. Thanks for watching. So there you have it guys, that's a quick rundown of the new DJI firmware update 3.8 as well as the Vision app updates. Thanks a lot for watching, I'm Justin Davis of DroneCamps RC. Please click subscribe.